All right, everybody, what is up? Welcome back. It's Thunder. So the Black Ops 3 beta official dates were announced, and it's going to be on the PS4 first. Oh, the PS4 first this time. Xbox guys are mad as hell. No, me? I'm by console, baby. I got the Xbox and the PS4, so don't matter to me which one it comes out for. Um, but the Xbox guys are mad. The hashtag Xbox or Riot, all this stupid shit. Guys, come on, man. You ain't going to riot. If you're going to riot over a beta, you need to reevaluate your life. Uh, listen, we haven't even had a beta for years. We haven't had a beta since World at War. Um, and I'm kind of surprised that this beta is only going to last for five days. Um, hmm. I mean, to me, I, can you find everything that's wrong with a game in five days? I mean, is this really a beta test or just another marketing pitch to sell the game, to generate hype? Do you think they really give a shit about finding all the glitches and all the weapon imbalances if they're only giving us five days to test the game? Uh, hmm. Well, I'll tell you one thing. Oh, first of all, watch this clutch. Watch this clutch. Yeah, that's why I uploaded this intro clip. Look at it. Ooh, win by one point. Thanks to the clutch lightning strike. A real tight game right there, man. That was exciting. <laughs> tight games like that every once in a while, I like. <laughs> that was a sweat fest, man. Carried my team back. Won the match with that lightning strike. So, yeah, when this beta first got announced, when I first heard that Black Ops 3 is going to have a beta, I was a little excited. Nuts, but the e what? These nuts. What are you talking about? What's this guy talking about? Wait a minute. Hold on, fellas. I'll get, I'll get back to the Yolo. beta in a second. Yolo's is clan tag is pun cake. Pun cake with a Yolo pun clan tag. Pun. No shit. Hmm. Really? Oh, these guys are sweaty. Let me, let, me, let me run the Angry Birds. Let me run the Angry Birds on these sweats. The bigger the sweats you play, the smaller the streaks you gotta run. Oh, and look at this dude carrying teams since 2012 with the nuclear player card. He's carrying teams. My, boy, my boy's running Backpack Pro right here. I like that shit. All right, what else we got here? Oh, these nuts. Got him! Cod Logic. Hit or miss. I agree with that. I agree with that Cod Logic. Oh, is that a minion and a pair of titties? Damn, some nice player card art going on in here. Man, these... These dudes are talking an awful lot of shit, man. I'm these dudes. I'm gonna kill you. Look at that minion. Mm. All right. Um. So these dudes are talking some smack to me in the pregame lobby, and you know they looked a little sweaty. The KDs are like 1.8, 1.7. There's a couple of two KDs in there. You know what, man? Anything over a 1.5 KD, I'll say you're a pretty good player. So whenever you, when I, whenever I'm going up against pretty good players, I like to run low streaks. And this is my tank class. Got the flag jacket. Got the toughness. Got the uh, attack mask. Uh, MSMC, Quick Draw Silencer, EMPs, C4s. This is just a really, really solid class. And I always get C4 kills right there. You guys know that. So this is my tank class. When I play up against Sweats, I like to run a good, solid tank class like this. And I like to run the low streaks because low streaks just, mm, they just drive the Sweats crazy. They really do. I've said this before, and I'll say it again. Low streaks will win you more games than high streaks will. And look at this dude right here. Ready? Bloop! Oh my goodness, get owned. Damn, them quick scopes. So damn, that dude, he's he's a good player, man. He's a good player. He's been carrying teams since 2012. He's got his tryhard class. He's got a sniper, best gun in the game. So he's he's going ham. I gotta watch out for that dude right there. And oh my goodness, get wrecked. <laughs> uh, so when I first heard Black Ops 3 was gonna have a beta, I was excited. Now initially I'm like, oh, maybe it'll be like for a month long. And I don't really remember how long the beta was for World at War. But I, don't, I think it was longer than five days, wasn't it? I think it was like a couple weeks. So, yeah, I mean, that's what I thought we would get. I thought we'd get a couple weeks to play the beta. But apparently it's only going to be five days. Now, we're not going to find out all the wall glitches and glitching under the map and javelin glitches. None of this shit. We're probably not going to find that in five days. Or maybe we will. I mean, shit, this COD community seems like they're pretty, pretty good at <laughs> finding what's fucked up in this game really fast. So maybe five days is enough. What do you guys think? Is five days enough to find... A lot of the exploits in the game. Well, you got to factor in this, too. We're going to be playing a beta. We probably won't get all the maps. We'll probably just get maybe three or four maps. And I'm going to give you guys some advice right now. You guys at Activision and Treyarch. Don't put no maps like Carrier or Turbine or Siege out. If there are maps like that in the game, put all the small maps. Like the Nuketown kind of maps, the Firing Range maps, um, the Raid type maps. I mean, put the small maps that people are going to have fun on. Put all your best maps. Like, if I'm in charge of the beta and I'm sitting there looking at map selection, I'm going to be like, okay, what are our smallest, fastest maps in the game or mid-sized maps in the game that play fast? That's what we're going to roll out with because you want this beta to be fun. And all you people who are going to be playing in this beta, 
you guys gotta remember one thing. L look at this. Look at this. How does... What? How does this even happen? Did that guy even see me? Uh, damn. <laughs> Broken as fuck. But all you guys are gonna be playing the beta. Just remember this. The stats don't transfer. So I don't wanna see nobody camping for KD in the beta. Please. The stats do not transfer. Don't know. If you're playing for beta KD, there's something wrong with you, bro. There's some... If you care about your KD in a beta, there's something wrong with you. This beta is going to drop. The stats are not going to carry over. When the beta is over in them five days, whatever stats you got are gone. Okay? So, the beta comes out, man. Just run around have some fun. Don't give a flying fuck about your stats. Please. I don't want to see people head glitching and camping in a corner and shit with ghosts um, <laughs> when the beta comes out. So, you might not be able to find out everything that's wrong with the game uh, in a five-day beta. But I will tell you one thing right now. You will be able to know if you like or don't like the game. Five days is enough time for you to tell if you're going to like or not like this game. Uh, because with A-Dub, it only took me three days. Like, the first couple days, I was like, uh, well, what's going on here, man? Is, is it me? Is it the game? I, well, I don't know. The third day I played it, I was playing it with my boys. I was like, fellas, I'm out. I just, I just can't do it anymore. I'm done with this game. I, I think my last match I played was on that one map, Green Band. And I was like falling to my death everywhere and there's people hopping up behind me everywhere I'm like dude I'm out I'm out I'm done <laughs> I can't play anymore the zombies is fun and the campaign was pretty cool for those first two levels I played so a dub not totally horrible game but as far as the multiplayer goes bro I was out I just couldn't do it anymore and they pay me to play that shit and I still won't touch it so that just goes to show you how bad it was for me if you like it cool but for me oh my god dude I'm done Plus, I had Destiny waiting for me, man. So it was easy to walk away from A-Dub. I had Destiny waiting for me. Just like if Black Ops 3 sucks. If Black Ops 3 sucks, I'm going to have even something better than Destiny waiting for me. <laughs> I'm going to have Fallout 4 waiting for me. So believe me, if Black Ops 3 is bad, dude, it ain't even a thing because... Uh-oh, Sniper, uh -oh, Sniper Coast Range, you didn't stand a chance, son. You didn't stand a chance. Get owned. Damn. They should just rename the sniper to the universal remote from Destiny, because that's what that gun does. Close range, mid range, long range, it don't matter. You get shit on either way. <laughs> Bondo, how you like Destiny? Just rename your snipers, all of them, to the universal remote, because that's exactly what this gun is. All you Destiny players will get that joke. Get the HK drone. So yeah, man, if Black Ops 3 flops, dude, I'm going to be playing, even if Black Ops 3 is good, I'm going to be playing Fallout 4. So... Anyway, man, that dude's been carrying teams since 2012, but I don't know. He must have forgot his backpack this game. Um, his backpack just wasn't big enough for the Thunder, baby. And come on. Come on. Where you guys at? So I oh, oh, could have had the double spray, but the match ended. Anyway. Uh, oh, yeah. Check out what this guy says about me, too. Listen to this audio. Listen to this shit. This dude said he's going to report me for being a tryhard. I was like, really? Listen. Oh, and the one that said we were tryharding yeah. just went 27 4. So, yeah, I don't yeah think you're so, getting dude. reported. I don't think so, bud. What? You're going you're gonna to report me for going 27 to 4? And I never said you were tryharding. I just said that you're carrying team since 2012. Looks like, looks like a tryhard player card emblem, man. I was just messing around, bro. Listen, dude, if you're going to report me for going 27 to 4, what are you going to do when you run into the Market J? What are you going to do when the Market J drops like 80 kills on you? Are you going to swat his ass? <laughs> you going to report me for going 27 to 4? That's some funny shit. Anyway. All right, guys. That's all I got. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the gameplay commentary. And let me know. Five days. What's going to happen in those five days? We're not going to find all the exploits and glitches and shit. Um, but we are going to know about the weapon, some weapon balance, some kill streak balance. You guys remember the dogs in World at War? The dogs in World at War, man, and that World at War beta, if you got dogs in the World at War beta, it was like calling in a swarm. You'd get like 15 to 20 kills easy. I mean, it was just insane. So we'll probably see some kill streak balancing, probably a little bit of weapon balancing here. But you, the most important thing is in those five days, uh, Treyarch and Activision, they're going to generate an ass load of hype for the game, which is what they want to do. Obviously, Activision has a lot of faith in Treyarch to be rolling out with this beta. Uh, and you will be able to know if you like the game or not. Five days should be plenty of time for you to know if you're going to like the game or not. But anyway, all right, guys, that's all I got. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this gameplay commentary, please don't forget to TD smack that like button. I'll see you guys on the next one. It's the legend of thunder. You can't rock like this. Get owned and pwned. Paint up and drop shot like this. Whole nother level. I am in the thunder zone. Man, Mexico, welcome to the thunder zone. Team 9 lethal. We
drop back to back like birds. They go to spicy red Dorito chips, dinner is served. Uh oh, here comes the thunder, here comes the rain. Fully loaded MP7, I'ma blow out your brain. <laughs> Grab a scabby pack and spam C4. Have them rage quicking from X1 to PS4. My BDW buzzing, strategically place a Russian. Move it, Tita's 100 buzzing, cause Timmy is no thumbing. I'm flawless up in TDM. I got skill, so poor hunters and dyers, man, that's not real. Uh uh, I shut them down like an EMP. Get thunderstruck when you step to me, now let's go.